Hey guys, I'm Dan and welcome back to another video. Okay, so today I'm gonna be opening some of my older Takara Tomi figures that I've kept for a long time in their original boxes. Okay, so right now I'm actually in my Godzilla room and um, yes, they're all right over here. So I've basically kept all my Takara Tomi figures in this shelf right over here. It's kind of dirty, so we need to clean it up you know, sometime. But today, let me open all the figures and I will put them into um, our Takara Tomi box, okay? So let's go, guys. Okay, guys, so now we are back at the studio, okay? So I've actually prepared a new box to put all our Takara Tomi animal figurines, okay? So, um, so let's open all of them up and um, transfer all these figures into the new box, okay? So let's do it. All right, guys, so let's begin with this one right here. It's basically a lamb, but it comes with a little duckling right at the side. So this figure, I think we have purchased this like uh, many years ago. So let's have a look at this. I think the box actually looks very nice. And um, of course, it comes with um, this little backdrop for you to like display your um, figures. So let's have a look at this. So this is basically a little lamb, all right? I'm gonna put this little lamb right here um, with the little dunk, duckling, okay? Super adorable. Let me place this here. And let's open up um, the next one. This is actually a miniature Deshaun and toy poodle. So basically two different species of dogs. One is, um, this is the Dashon. I'm not too sure whether I pronounced it correctly, but yeah. And the other one is a Toy Poodle. Both are super adorable looking dogs. Okay, next we have a pony, all right? The pony is basically like a little small horse. So it comes with the, you know, like a mini fence right over here, which looks kind of cute, okay? And here it's um, the little pony. So able to move the neck, kind of cool. Very beautifully done. I really love the paint work on this. The detailing is kind of um, beautiful as well. Next, we have a um, Calico cat. Do you guys know that Calico cats are basically, you know, it's a name of a cat to describe the patterns on his body. So basically, if you are a, I mean, if you have this sort of patterns, you are basically known as a Calico cat. And I think this type of cats, they are very popular in um, Japan. So really beautiful, you can see like, you know, spots of um, brown and black. Really, really beautiful. Okay, um, yeah, this figure seems to be kind of like sticky. I have no idea why. Alright, next up, uh, what do we have right here? We have an alpaca. Alpaca are extremely adorable. I've actually seen some of them um, in real life before when I went um, overseas. So alpaca, yeah, very adorable looking. They're like, you know, super furry as well. Next, we have a squirrel and a hedgehog. So let's open this up. It even comes with a little nut. I'm not too sure what kind of nut this is. Probably like a walnut. Okay, so here's the little squirrel. You can definitely do like a, um, you know, small animals or, you know, adorable animals collection video really soon. And this is basically a hedgehog. Cute, super cute. All right, let's move on. We have a capybara right over here. So do you guys know the capybara? I think they are like the most favorite animal. Most favorite animals of any animals. They basically get along well with um almost any animal. Yeah, very, very cute. Some of them can reach kind of, um you know, really big size as well. You know, as big as a dog. They are kind of a golden. Okay, so this is basically, you know, my collection of um, Takara Tomi figures. Okay, so no, so now what we are gonna do is that we're gonna transfer all of these figures, you know, into this uh, new box right here because this is like getting a bit too small. All right. So I mean, maybe in future we can compartmentalize them. Okay. So this is a um, Indian rhinoceros. This is basically a whale shark. You know, we have two different wheel shocks, okay? I think one of them is actually like a, uh, like an older version. Okay, next up, 
Let's see what else we've got. Okay, this one should be going to the box as well. Put this um right here. Giraffe. If I'm not wrong, this one actually come along in um a set, an African animal set. This is basically a tiger, really beautiful one. Oka, okay. Oka also known as a killer whale. It actually comes with like three different articulation, and I think the new figures they have a different texture as compared to the new, uh, the the old ones. The new ones it has a rubbery texture, and this is basically um an elephant, okay, an elephant. We have a couple of um, different elephant poses. I think this one is one of the latest one um, with the mouth wide open. You can also put like an apple inside the mouth, okay. And um, both of them actually have like two points of articulation. Very beautiful, I must say. Um, the new one is definitely more, much more realistic, okay. Next, we have a beluga wheel, okay. So this one is quite an old figure. This black lion is actually one of the um, exclusive figures. I really love this. It looks so cool. And you can see it has like beautiful, luminous blue eyes. And um, that mix up with, um, I mean, in contrast to the um, black color, it really stands out a lot. So I really love this black lion. It has to be one of my most favorite, if not my most favorite figure in this entire collection. Yeah, this is another lion, one of the um, latest ones. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys the the very first lion. I think this is the very first one. Yeah, the very first lion from Takara Tomi. Yeah, still a classic figure, I must say. You can't move the head, you can't move um, the legs, you can move the head. This is also one of the um, earlier Takara Tomi figures, which only has a movable jaw, but you can see the paintwork on this is amazing. Very intricate stripes, and the beautiful shiny blue eyes. They have actually painted them with like metallic blue paint. Very, very beautiful. Okay, this is a lioness. Um, if I'm not wrong, this figure it's also quite old. A couple of years at least. This panda is definitely one of the um, latest one, one of the newer ones. So he's basically holding like a bamboo shoot. Very beautiful. The arms can be uh, moved. The bamboo cannot be um, removed just in case that you guys are wondering. And um, yeah, this is like, you know, using the old sculpt, you can see this is basically the same sculpt as um, the previous, you know, the classic lion, but in, it's a, in a white color. So um, two different ones. This one, you can see the legs are all straight, but this one, the left leg is actually pointing forward. And it also comes with a uh, movable hind legs, which is kind of cool, okay? So white lions, absolutely beautiful. Um, this is actually not from Takara Tony, it's actually from Bandai, okay? But it's still very adorable and I feel the texture, the style looks kind of similar to, you know, the Takara Tony ones. Emperor Penguin sliding pose, very cool. We have a chimpanzee, all right? This is a white horse, I think we have a couple of horses which are kind of cool as well. Polar Bear, one of the um, very, very classic figures, one of the older figures out there. Beautiful one. Another giraffe, we have a um, couple of giraffes, if I'm not wrong. Both came in um, different sets. You can get the giraffe individually. This is a Stellar Sea Eagle, also quite a relatively new figure, at most like one, two years old. Yeah, cool figure. This, it's a blue wheel. Yeah, it's a blue wheel. I think this figure, at least five to six years for sure. For sure. Silverback Gorilla. Um, this could be the, a new one, I can't remember. Let me put this over here first. Okay, so you can see this. This is another one. This is 100% a new one, which is supposed to be holding a pineapple. So I'll put this right here first. You know, just in case we find a find a pineapple, and this is a manta ray, one of the um very very first few waves, very new figure, another elephant. So you can do a comparison. We have um three different elephants, and all three of them are actually different. Yeah, very different. In fact, this is like a baby elephant. Can you guys see that? 
the ears are actually bigger, much bigger, much more adorable looking. Okay. What? Another lion? No, this is actually not from Takara told me. Okay, so we have two similar ones. Extremely adorable, I must say. Okay, Cheetah. Beautiful Cheetah. We have two different Cheetahs. Let me put this one right here. All car is basically the same one. Reindeer, we only have one reindeer. It comes with a movable neck. This is one of the um, you know older figures. Panda, we, we have lots of panda. Another, okay, this one is dirty. Let me just get my um, wet tissue right now to clean this up. Okay, just give me a second, guys. Let's clean this up together. Yeah, it's really dirty. I think this figure has been um, in a box for like so long and um, the box doesn't have a cover. So I'm just trying to transfer them into a new box and um, you know, a box with cover and it would definitely be much better. Okay, so this is a rabbit. Okay, extremely adorable. Oh, nice that we actually have a zip lock because we can actually put all the different accessories inside it later on. So a chimpanzee. Okay, this one is a new one. You can see the mouth is all open. And um, this is supposed to be a Megalodon, okay? Another lion. Oh my goodness, how many lions do we have? I think they are like all the same. You know, this one has the um, you know, forward pointing leg right over here. Another elephant, guys. Okay, so let's do another quick comparison with all the different elephants that we have. I think these two are basically the same ones. Yeah, these, these are basically the original ones. Alright. This is an Eskimo, okay, it came along with the um, wolf. I'm just gonna put all the different accessories into this little ziplock bag as well as this little fence, okay. The dinosaur shouldn't be here, but we um yeah, I think it's fine. Just let us let us just put it inside here for now. Camel, Bactrian camel, okay. This is a great white one of our this is actually a new one. Yeah, this is actually a new one because it has a more rubbery feel to it. Okay, I'm just gonna clean it slightly. And this is a, this is the first one. This is the older one, very, very dirty. Okay, you can see the tissue is, you know, a little bit brown because of, because of the dust. Okay, I'm just gonna put this right here. Wait for it to dry, I'm gonna put this back. A penguin chick, this is a emperor penguin chick. Very adorable. A small little giraffe. I think this is like from the um, smaller packs. A red panda. And here are basically some grass. So I'll put this into um, the little bag. This is probably a saltwater crocodile. I can't remember whether it's a saltwater crocodile or a Nile crocodile. We have a Japanese monkey. Um, zebra. This is another rabbit. So we have two different poses as you guys can see. Flamingo. Okay. Oh, we have plenty of flamingos. Um, but I've yet to transfer them over to this uh, box. Another flamingo. Rock hopper penguin. Okay. This is a um, crocodile. Um, yeah, I think just a crocodile. I'm not too sure what is the um, exact species. Yeah, this is a super cute little bird. Another emperor penguin. Okay, our horse. Hippopotamus. Yeah, this is one of the first few figures. Okay, penguin, kangaroo with a joey inside the pocket, okapi, this figure is re really nice, and do you guys know that okapis, they are actually like very rare as well. Okay, just gonna put these two great whites back into the box because they are now very clean. Um, otter. This is um, the wolf, 
yeah, the wolf that comes along with um the the Eskimo. Okay, this is basically the oxygen tank that comes along, you know, with the shark. So I'm just gonna put it inside. The snowy hour. Okay. This is a a meerkat, I think. There should be another cheetah, but I'm not too sure where it, it is. So this is basically a um, grizzly bear, a whale shark, the very first one. Yep, the texture feels like you know it's from the very first series. A bottlenose dolphin. Wow, this one is extremely old, guys. Extremely dirty as well. Let me just clean this up. Okay, a tiger. Quite a nice pose, you know, with the. You know, the leg pointing forward. This is a, um, if I'm not wrong, Pacific white sided dolphin. Yeah. The sea lion. Okay. We have a panda bear cup. This is um African penguin, I think. A pygmy hippo calf, a young hippo. We have a couple of um, accessories. These are basically for the um, sea animals, so we can put them into um, you know this little bag. We have two sea turtles right over here. I think they are from the same sculpt, same figure, but different paint scheme. One is a red, reddish brown, and the other one is a you know a green sea turtle. Another panda bear cup. Okay, I'm gonna put it back in. Rhinoceros, the very first rhinoceros. Now we have. This is an otter. Yep, that's right. This is basically um, the tree for the um, koala. So you can basically put this like this. Very cute koala. Just gonna put this back into the, the little bag. Spotted seal. Yeah, adorable. Kind of um okay, I think this is fine. This is basically Shiba Inu, a very popular dog. I think they originated from um, Japan, if I'm not wrong. Okay. The snowy hour, let's put it back. I think we only have two gorillas, so just going to Put them back into the box. Snowy hour. Okay. Another spotted seal. This is basically um, you know, like an explorer. So I'll put this into um the pack. A mini oka. Yes, an oka calf. Another penguin chick. Okay, this one is basically, you know, it's like a little lick that you can um, create on your own. It's kind of cute. You can just push this right in. Um, yeah, the other side is supposed to be the grass. You know, let me just take it out. I'm gonna zambo this to show you guys. Basically works this way. Yeah, it's really adorable. You can put some animals around it. You can use this as like a mini watering hole, I guess. Um, if I'm not wrong, this is also considered a kind of um Shiba Inu. Some trees. I can't remember, you know, which figure this came along with. A baby sea turtle, a blue wheel calf, a meerkat standing upright, kind of cute. With this one, let's put it into the box. Another sliding or uh, emperor penguin. Oh, yes, this one has got to be one of the um, very adorable ones. It's basically a um, lion cop. This is a great white shark. This is basically to, um, you know, for the size comparison with the Megalodon. So if this is a great white shark, this is actually the size of a 
Megalodon. So it's roughly about 10 times the size in terms of length. Emperor Penguin Chick. This is actually the um, Otter Pup. Yeah. Um, I think this is also an Otter, if I'm not wrong. We have a couple of um, fish. Okay, we have a salmon. Um, no, it's not salmon, a clown fish. I think this is a salmon. And um, this came along with the bear, the grizzly bear. So the grizzly bear is supposed to be um, eating the salmon. This is a pot spotted seal pup. Very cute. Um, a sea lion cup, I guess. A small one. Yeah, we have um, two more fish right here. One is for the bear. I think we have two similar bears, if I'm not wrong. Cheetah. So this is basically the um, uh, the pineapple. I have no idea why they have decided to give um, you know, the gorilla a pineapple. But I'll just keep the pineapple inside this little bag. Japanese monkey baby. So I'm going to put this into the box. The live boy either belongs to uh, the dolphin or the sea lion. Yeah, this little bucket as well. So you're supposed to like put some fish inside the bucket for the um, dolphins and stuff. So I'm gonna put this all into um, the little, some sea grass, I guess. Can't, oops, this is basically the little stand for this explorer. So you can just Put him, place his feet, place his feet into this muddy ground, I guess, like this. It's not really stable, but yeah, it provides a little bit more extra grip. This is from, um, you know, the Bandai set, kind of cute. An apple. Can't remember if this one came along with which animal, can't remember at all. Another pygmy hippo cough. So we seems to have two of them. And this is probably an um, electric view, I guess. We do have a couple of um, accessories right here. There's a little banana. This banana actually belongs to the um, chimpanzee, I suppose. And um, what is this, guys? I have no idea. A little piece of grass. So, yep, I have finished transferring my animals into this new box. And we definitely have uh, much more space for, you know, future Takara Tomi animals. But this is not, like, the most ideal way to keep my figures. Because they was, can, like, scratch each other. But you have to be really gentle with them. And uh, it should be fine. Alright, thanks for watching this. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm gonna put this back into the um, you know, Godzilla room, okay? Thanks for watching this. Goodbye.